For the next few months, these 16 contestants will be left at Birch Bay State Park with nothing to survive upon but their instincts. Only one will survive. Survivors ready? Go! Each of your tribes has been given a map. Chan, you're the map holder for Cha Cha. Mr. Ellis, you're the map holder for the Kleenex tribe. We're supposed to find a rock. Or is that a flag? I can't, well. Do you even know what you're doing for us? Could you read the map? Excuse me, I know oh, what crikey. I'm doing. Look what we have here. It's a Northwestern brown squirrel. Do you see the movements it's making? That must be a mating ritual. I'm gonna go up and get it. It got away! That deaf kid that was a map holder really confused everybody. Excuse me, but you're gonna have to speak up. Some of us here don't speak sign language. Let me try, my cousins. Amber is such a klutz. Okay, everywhere I turn, she's like on the ground. She like falls. Okay, see, everybody in our tribe is so mean to me. I'm like, what is your problem? They cannot get over the fact that I fall a couple times. What is the big deal? I don't understand. And that deaf kid that speaks sign language, he is so like snobby and mean. Everybody in my tribe is completely out of their mind. And this one kid, Johnny, always thinks he's all alone. Oh, I'm shipwrecked. Where am I? Yeah. Eat that, Ocean! A package! What the heck is this? Oh! <laughs> Cane sugar. Oh. Since I'm a trained pyrotechnic, I'm the most qualified person here. I'm gonna build a fire. What are you talking about, dude? I can make a fire ten times better than your fire. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Guys, stop. I have an idea. Why don't you just both build a fire and we'll use the best one? I don't get it. Hey, guys. I was just epiphanizing. And what if you both build a fire and we use the best one? Well, that's a really good idea. Like, what are you, a genius or something? I just had that idea. Oh no, you didn't. I don't think so. You didn't do it. You don't want like you. Fuck up. Fuck up. Let's go, man. Try it. The wood's really wet. Well, give it to me. I'll dry it off. This is how you dry off wood. See, just like that. No problem. Come on, darn oh, oh, no. No. Give me a D. Give me an O. Oh. Give me an N. What's that smell? Oh. Yeah. Go to the bathroom. The bathrooms are that way. You know, I'm really glad to be here because I think my leadership skills are finally paying off. You know, I went to college for nine years, and these people finally, I finally have somebody who will listen to me. It's great. So Mr. Ellis is going on this huge power trip, and you know what? I don't understand why he thinks he's going to win and he's got that big megaphone. I'm the strongest person I know, okay? I'm the strongest person I I know. And you know what? Nothing's going to bring me down. Not even the megaphone. Right? This is a beautiful place out here. There's so much wildlife. It's just great to be out here and see all the wilderness out here. It's just great. I love it. <gasps> Look what we have here. This is a Northwestern white oyster. I really have to go to the bathroom. And I don't know where it is. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. No one knows where it is. It's crazy. Look what we have here. 
This is a northwestern white seagull egg. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the white coloration. The pigmentation. Let's see if I can talk to it. Cool. Cool. Now look at that! That's supposed to be a baby seagull, but it's not! It's premature! Hello Kleenex Tribe and welcome to Tribal Council. Now each one of you is going to vote for one of your tribe members. The tribe member that gets the most votes is out of Survivor. Go ahead and vote. Throw an egg at me. Yeah, like you're going to be voted off. Samantha thinks she's all that in a bag of ruffles. I hate Mr. Ellis. Now there's no need to read any more votes. Mr. Ellis, the tribe has spoken.